America? Why are you so fat? Why don't you try the I Love America diet? Brock and I are here to tell you all about how to be less fat and more patriotic. Today, we have a recipe for you. This one comes from the Milk Cheese Group, okay? It is called the Beef and Cheese Log. Calories per slice without the crackers. Don't even count the crackers, bro. Don't even count that shit. About 35. Okay, so let's talk about what is going to go into this log, this tree, this tree of America, this American tree, this patriotic, arboreal system. For dieting. For dieting. <laughs> <laughs> that we're going to make. All right, let's talk about what's going to go into this. All right. <clears throat> My beautiful assistant Brock is gonna help me. Oh, booty tooch? <laughs> oh, booty should tooch. we do the booty tooch? Booty tooch. <laughs> <clears throat> Salad dressing, mayonnaise type. Da -da. That's some glorious state fair whipped salad dressing. We don't know what that is, but it seemed like it was right for this. Also, what's more American than a state fair? That's true. <laughs> state fairs, they're the best. They're the best. All right. The next thing we need is cream cheese. Technically, that's not cream cheese. It's new chef. But it's softer and cheaper. The third ingredient, natural, natural, <laughs> sharp cheese. Yep. Hooray. We got pre-graded. Because we're all lazy. Next thing, this is the weirdest uh, ingredient that we've got. Chopped. I okay, we didn't get exactly what it calls for, but chopped pressed beef. Finely chopped, a three ounce package. Last ingredient. Pecans, finally, not finally, but finally, <laughs> chopped. We didn't wait a long time. They just were finely chopped, that's all. Like this. Now, we're going to make the beef and cheese log. And Brock is our master chef. So, step one. Mix salad dressing with softened cream cheese. Sexy. One tablespoon. Oh, he's cutting that shit. It's so good. The cutting. Nice. Brock is stirring it up. The salad dressing with softened cream cheese. Yeah, it's like a real. Do you need other? Oh, pretty, pretty. Okay, add cheddar cheese and beef. Okay, so the cheddar cheese, natural sharp cheddar cheese, finely shredded, needs to come in one cup. Cheese. Oh, awesome. That looks so awesome. Fix that shit up, bro. And the weird canned beef that we bought needs to be chopped up. So um, that's what we're going to do first. It smells kind of weird. 
It was the uh, rinsing in warm water that it demanded and made it weird. Look at him mixing that. Isn't he good at mixing? He's the mixiest. That's mixed well. I think it is mixed well. We need to so. shape it into a 10 inch log. This feels weird. Feels like freedom. <laughs> Doesn't it? And thinness. Seriously, that's supposed to make 10 inches? I, mean, it's, I guess it's supposed to be super thin. 10 inches. <laughs> now, you need to roll it in pecans. <laughs> Obviously. I need my booze. Wait, I'm gonna drink more of it. Oh, that's delicious, Mayor McCheese. Thank you. <laughs> there will be tiny pieces of pecans all over my kitchen for like seven to nine months because we don't clean that much. <laughs> Roll it. You can roll that shit. Oh, hang on. Okay. Yeah, let's get down here. Action shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Roll it. You. <laughs> roll up those pecans, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yummy. So nutty. <laughs> <laughs> That's my pecan song. Oh, good. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I don't really need to do that. Wrap in wax paper, which we don't have. We could wrap it in foil, but I don't think that's necessary. We just need to chill it. My fellow okay. Americans, after using freedom and fighting the terrorism of bad nutrition, Lauren and I are pleased to present you with the I Heart America Diets Beef and Cheese Log. Two types of crackers. Yeah, two types. Hooray! <laughs> I don't want to. I don't, don't want to like pin anybody in a corner, but I'm trying this uh, fancy kind, like white people kind of crackers. Oh, it broke, but I'll uh -oh. eat it anyway. And I'm using a cornbread crackers. Not a cornbread kind. What? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's full of meat, which kind of weirds me out. I don't know if I like or not. <laughs> I'm not that into meat. <laughs> oh, I just touch it with my hand. <laughs> oh, mess. In case you didn't notice, this is clearly not part of a feminist diet strategy. Oh, wait, this way. Although I don't think it's 10 inches long. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's very salty. <laughs> it's something. It's something. I'm going to try it with a white people cracker now. Yeah, I'm going to try it with a cornbread cracker. Well, actually, the sweetness of the cornbread cracker kind of balances out, like, the saltiness of the mm -hmm. the meat and cheese. Not I agree. Bad. Not too bad. It's a lot weirder with the white people cracker than it is with the cornbread yeah, cracker. Yeah, no, it's, it's just really, like, it's really salty. The I Love America diet has really come through with a ridiculous snack type food. And I don't... Are you smizing? I was trying to. <laughs> I, and so, I think that all of us should try it. I'm just chewing <laughs> Or just love it on the internet. Who cares? Stay skinny. Because James Madison wasn't that. Oh, yeah. Yeah.